Okay, so the previous part kind of lost some of the audio, uh, and that's the reason I have to make them in small chunks of, uh, of videos, because if I make them in one large ones, I usually have all kinds of holes of audio, and I have to check them one by one to, to make sure I don't lose the audio. So, what I was saying about the shape that you see here is that once I actually move the point here, uh, what, I, what I have is a sort of a contradiction or a sort of a inconsistency in cases where uh, the, the, the shortest path between the points can be from here uh, and another, you know, can be from the left and one time it's going to be from the right uh, and there is no way, no very good way of knowing the difference uh, knowing, knowing actually which path you're taking unless you have some constraints of the shape uh, and that's going to lead to some confusion uh, and this is why the, even the geodesic distances need to have some constraints upon them uh, and trying to always calculate the same physical ana analogous type of thing, so always just connecting the right dots when you measure certain distances. Right, so with, with, these, uh, with the exception of these shapes, uh, we have a collection of distances, we want to then represent the shape, shape using uh, taking lots of pairs of distances, we want to have lots of pairs of points, uh, and the points themselves need to be chosen in certain areas that are considered to be irregular, uh, considered to be places that are uh, uh, changing quite a, quite, in quite a, quite a few ways, so that they contain more entropy as you move them around. Uh, so in this case, the, uh, let, let me just take this shape very quickly and kind of, uh, I don't know, let me just, let's say it's a shape that's kind of closed. Uh, let's say it's a, come on. Uh, let's say it's a kind of a half bagel type thing. Uh, then a meaningful, a meaningful uh, point is probably going to lie somewhere at the outside of the edges, uh, and a point that's close to the center, unless it changes quite a bit throughout, let's say it's some kind of an animal of sorts, uh, it's not going to be a very meaningful point because the distances there are not going to change so much. So we want to put the points in places that have some meaning. Now, let me just explain why this is similar to PCA, and I probably shouldn't do it in the next video, otherwise I might lose some audio again, which really scares me right now.